Hey guys, welcome back to Tackle of Batch International Ray and today we have another mod for the Galaxy for the Corsi UX ROM or the A5 UX ROM for the Galaxy J5 2015 edition. So we have already installed the S8 mod version 4 on, on the J5 on the Corsi UX or the A5 ROM but we have the new version 5 which has many new features. So let's go get into the custom recovery and install that. So we're just gonna reboot into the custom recovery and we're gonna select recovery over here so as we go along way we'll talk about more changes in the newer version so it is booting into the custom recovery now to install the newest version we're gonna go in and we're gonna select the S8 mod version 5 and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash so the ROM does come with a new brightness slider which is the S8 and you have the new status bar from the S8 as well so we're gonna reboot the system now and you have the S8 themed uh, always on display as well you have the new camera icon and the camera icon is changed and you also have a new music application with notification uh, like no good we'll just have to see what that is actually and you have the new settings app which is a little bit different I think and it is not that clear so we have new smart manager as well uh, with uh, power saving modes like the nougat and we have some new fonts and also the we have new charging animation so I think with each update the app drawer is becoming more and more smooth so as you can see that the camera icon has been changed you have a different camera icon now and let's go into the status bar and the, it is a little bit different so you have a little bit transparent to it I think and as you can see the status bar has been changed so the it looks a little bit different and you have the brightness slider over here so you can change that as well I think so let's go into the brightness settings and it doesn't have brightness settings I guess so we cannot get into it so let's go into the always on display and see what is from the Galaxy S8 so let's go into more settings and on so we have different layouts now and let's select the simple one and you have colors over here and you have wallpapers from the Galaxy S8 so I so that is what is new with the always on display so let's check it out so I don't know if you can see but there is the Galaxy S8 uh, background in the uh, always on display so it is a subtle change but not too huge to notice so let's get into the phone once again so let's go into the music app now so I feel like it is the same but let's try and play some music maybe in the status bar I think in the status bar the music application has changed a little bit so you have this kind of notifications now and you must also have it in the lock screen so as you can see the always on display also shows the sound and you have the lollipop style music application notification over here so so I don't really see any difference but I think there should be because the developer says there is a difference let's go into settings app so so as you can see here the our text is a little more bold over here so you have a, a bold text you have it looks really nice and the font looks much uh, sharper now so let's go into the smart device manager so it is all new with the nougat style power saving mode so let's check out the power saving mode after this and on in this so you have these um, power saving modes as well so that is really nice as well so there or uh, these are all the changes you do have some new fonts as well so let's go into display and go into fonts so you have different um, uh, status bar settings here as well so you have font over here you can uh, get fonts from here as well I guess so, you have fonts 
uh, size but I really don't see any other fonts over here so we'll have to download it I guess I think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys